All right, guys, this is just a follow up on my Michelson interferometer experiment. There's the interference pattern. That interference pattern is created uh, by this helium neon gas laser and it emits a laser beam to the dispersion lens there. That then goes to the beam splitter. 50% of the light then goes to this um, mirror here. The other 50% then goes to this mirror here. They recombine here and then they move to the screen. And you can see the screen there, that's uh, an interference pattern. It looks like a, a circle, it's very different to the um, classic uh, double slit experiment, which is a, a single beaded line. I think it's due to the fact that this is a, it's going through a dispersion lens there, which um, uh, makes it look like uh, more circular. Anyway, I wanted to show you what happens uh, when you put a screen uh, to block one of the arms. So one arm is blocked. You can see the dispersion is, the interference is gone. I'm gonna remove the um, uh, black uh, shielding now and the interference pattern returns. See, it's gone, put it back down and the interference pattern's gone. I'll move it again. And you can see it returns. I could do this on this side as well. Gone, returns, gone returns. So it's clearly, uh, the interference pattern is clearly due to a combination of light coming from both arms and not a single arm. That is uh, the combined wavelengths from both arms that creates the interference pattern. Um, blocking one arm is not a collapse the waveform in accordance to the Copenhagen interpretation. You have to do a measurement of uh, which arm the um, the light goes through. I'll do another experiment, both with the classic double slit and the interferometer, in terms of which way measurements to collapse the waveform at a later date. Okay, that's all I've got. Thank you very much.